Hi Virgos, thank you guys so much for joining me here for your September monthly reading. So happy Soda Return first of all to all of my Virgos, I hope you guys are having great birthdays. And we're going to go ahead and open up with the astrological transit so you can see what's happening with the stars in the sky. We're going to synchronize this with the astral travel messages to bring up predictions for events that could be unfolding throughout this month. And then we'll overlay this with the tarot portion of the read. With that being said, Virgos, let's go ahead and begin on the 2nd of September. We have that new moon in your sign. So this is going to be taking place in your first house. And this new moon is all about you guys. It's really you guys asking yourself with first house, you know, what are the goals that you want to set yourself what's the kind of life that you want to be living especially six months from now what is the kind of job that you want to have what are the kind of relationships that you want to have what's the type of relationship that you want to have with yourself and how can you begin to put yourself first in your innermost needs and desires so this could be a birth of a new um even aesthetic or new appearance right it's almost like the mirror that you present to the world how you see yourself and that affecting and changing the way that other people also see you so there's definitely an opportunity to step forward into this this new moon and the beginning of September more empowered and this could be you guys actually going through some kind of reboot or restart especially when it comes to a new job again this could be a new relationship um it even could be something that you're like making an announcement around maybe even if it's just like you know hey world let me reintroduce myself kind of energy um so yeah i really like that for you but you're understanding where it is that you want to live where it is that you want to like get to so that you can feel like the most empowered about yourself um in life and uh, yeah with mercury that has has been retrograding from the 12th house into the first a lot of you have been feeling like this hermit mode energy and that's been coming up in the tarot too where you've been holding back maybe keeping something a secret maybe about your own internal world and things that you guys have been going through you've been going through introspection and you're kind of reflecting on a lot of things that you may not be necessarily voicing out there into the world or to those around you so your subconscious has basically been asking you to spend more time with it okay and um, another thing to note is that the Hermes energy with the Mercury in your 12th house is going to be squaring Uranus in your 9th house. So this could be like channeling that you guys are doing. Maybe there's some kind of spiritual insights as you've been mastering your connection to the non-physical realm. And you could have been having like very intense dreams or again, like your subconscious has just been talking to you. Maybe this is the connection that you've had like to your guides, okay, in some way. Um, but there's a lot that's going on Venus in your second house changes in your salary could be happening maybe you guys are learning how to deploy more of your natural talents into your job in some way to generate more streams of income and you have a lot of luck in your career this month with Mars and Jupiter in your 10th house a lot of you are very career driven here this month you're definitely going to be a go-getter okay and yeah another thing to mention is you have the opposition to saturn in your seventh house as well so you're understanding that these intentions that you're setting is more for yourself but other people around you may be reacting okay or responding to this in a particular way because you're putting yourself first and that's definitely coming up in the tarot as well so some of you could be taking space from partnerships to be able to focus on having a more intimate direct relationship with yourself and on the 17th you do have the pisces lunar eclipse in your seventh house so again highlighting themes around partnerships maybe this is you guys transitioning into a relationship or deciding to finally let one go uh this even could be again like letting go of a partner that maybe you haven't got gotten over quite yet or there's been back and forth and this is like you finally cutting those cords and maybe some of you are like forgiving somebody to let somebody back into your life but i feel like a lot of you this is a release or so this is definitely going to bring about a lot of challenging conversations okay because you have venus in your second house opposing Chiron in the eighth so this could be like betrayal okay even if this is about like possessions or just like what is owed to you in some way a lot of you this is almost like karmic debt that has been playing out um maybe you feel like you've taken on things from others that's not necessarily your burden to be carrying and maybe again i'm hearing like you feel like you've got the short end of the stick even if this is like psychologically or emotionally in some way but there's just a major transition that will be happening here this month this could be you guys shifting a business it could be a romantic partnership friendship you're undergoing some kind of major change in the, re the way that you relate to others so yeah a lot that's going on here this month now towards the end you have mars in cancer that will be in your 11th house so a lot of you are definitely going to be driven to kind of get back out there and begin networking with others okay um and 
let's move toward your dream interpretation so you guys were in a yoga mat at the beginning which is about desiring to connect to your internal world again finding more meaning and purpose just coming to a place of inner peace and harmony and it also shows that you're um, beginning to adapt and become very flexible to these changes and you're just focusing on like the ever-changing flow of life right to be able to navigate your way through all of these challenges with ease and grace and then you also um are highlighting themes around internal wisdom that you are accessing a lot of you again almost delving into deeper levels of consciousness there as well and beginning to navigate your way through life in a more empowered way um but yeah you're definitely letting go of any limitations stepping into a new phase of growth and it's leading you towards a more awakened and authentic life so um you guys were also exercising you were focusing on balance and strength and you had this numb feeling from the weights and you began like laughing but it was more of like a really small like coping mechanism type of laugh so the physical workout shows that you're overcoming some kind of delay okay the weight lifting shows that you're needing to prioritize something in your life here this month and this could be you guys having of being like a walk a workhorse where you're realizing you've been disconnected from yourself okay and you're like you're kind of I want to say like tuning into an underdeveloped or neglected aspect of yourself or your innermost needs and desires here this month and the laughter um, I feel like you guys are bringing light to a dark situation here this month and you're bringing more joy back into your life and it is almost like a psychological compensation where it's like a positive way of you comforting yourself through like dark periods or like a dark night in the soul of the soul energy that you've been going through um, towards the end there was themes around you having to put um, basically a, appropriate boundaries where you felt like others were trying to control the narrative um, of your life okay or, or decisions and you're realizing that you no longer want to be a passive recipient of like what external forces want to kind of dictate dictate for you um this is knowing that you know what's best for yourself versus other people thinking that they know what is best for you so you guys were streaming live online which shows that again i feel like you definitely are able to release some kind of emotions and flow freely without any barriers or limitations also shows that you do have a desire to be able to connect and communicate with others here this month maybe it's just figuring out what kind of like professional circles you want to engage in or maybe this is like personal social uh, social circles you were doing this outside of a corner shop which all shows uh, which shows your energy exchanges with others uh, the microphone was your throat chakra so this is about finding your voice here this month having a desire to be heard and maybe expressing yourself publicly or stepping back out into you know 10th house energy like really stepping back out into just life as a whole um and allowing people to kind of observe or witness some kind of like metamorphosis or change of identity that you're going through because a lot of you are birthing a new self-integration and a lot of people are gonna definitely witness it okay um but mainly this is you learning from past experiences especially where it is that you uh, were suppressed okay and maybe you weren't empowered to act on some kind of truth so um towards the end there was also themes around renting designer clothing and um having to check if the stitches or seams were damaged and it was at a really low price and somebody was basically saying well imagine if somebody knew that it was rented like they were renting designer clothes it went it wasn't really their own which shows that you know you or others are not really going to be able to maintain some kind of image or identity okay it won't last forever so I feel like you're realizing how you can be true to yourself here this month. Um, maybe this is like you no longer relating or like feeling like staying with an old version of self or staying in an old identity and attachments, you know, to that specific identity or version to Virgo. Maybe this is particular partnerships, how that's kind of keeping you in a small box or how it could be compromising you, okay, and the future that you want. And it could be a life or continuum that you feel like you've had to step around eggshells in regards to you. And there was also things around black lipstick, okay, and you were color, it was color changing to a light clear pink which is about a mask it's about concealing your true emotions and intentions also shows that you could be analyzing whether the interactions are 
that you've been a part of um, are ones that you still want to. You know, it's almost like some of you have been masking. It's like you've been still connected to people from your past or situations that you feel like have not been for your highest good. Maybe this is even like in a job, but you've been masking and it's not really someone that you really wanted to be. Or maybe you could not see it the same that you once did, you know. Um, but the black aspect is about the multifaceted nature that you guys have. So this is about becoming more empowered. Black, black also reminds me of like death in the underworld and eighth house energy so this is about asserting your personal power confidently in all aspects of your life right realizing that you no longer want a mask and it's knowing that you can basically look in the mirror and see strength and see a determined power within and embracing this will help you achieve your goals and trust your intuition the pink aspect is again like finding almost like the light-hearted aspect in those deaths, in those transformations. And it's gonna help you liberate yourself with the pink as well. It kind of reminds me of Six of Cups energy, where it's like, how can you change the way that you relate with death? You know, Six of Cups, the past, maybe people that you have history with, maybe a situation that you have a lot of history with. And maybe you're realizing that this month, you're gonna ruffle some feathers as you begin to strip back all of these layers and awaken and discard everyone and everything who you are not, okay? And no longer resonate with or align with and others could be seeing you as like immature with that six of cups energy but you no longer care to meet the needs or expectations of others only to honor your innermost needs and desires so it's almost like you're going through this sense of internal transformation which leads you to being more empowered in the way that you navigate these external factors and situations so yeah there was a lot of themes there um at the end you ended up having to kick somebody out of a house and um there was something around buying a table which just shows that you're making some type of action here this month you're focusing on being independent and self-reliant and you're dismissing anyone who insults your soul right dispatching hastily anyone that's no longer in alignment with you because you kicking somebody out of the house is almost like saying you're no longer in alignment with my soul all right with myself and you're basically releasing any insecurities or fears that are related to social groups relationships or even work environments right it's like you really no longer feeling like you have to compromise the relationship that you have with yourself to like you know stay in certain connections that no longer serve a purpose in your life um so yeah you're focusing on your own authenticity realizing that you don't have to adapt yourself to fit in or make yourself small um, to make others feel more comfortable um, it's knowing that any relationships that do limit you heading into September will fracture right with fast house it's also about your personal relations okay and how the personal beliefs about you could be changing hence the personal relations around you could also be going through these changes so let's go ahead and open up with your universal messages okay we have right so right is a tiny box invented by people who are afraid this is saying that security is going to be the enemy of progress so your comfort zone will kill you eventually but it goes okay and this is knowing that you shouldn't allow people to put you in a tiny box because they think that they know what is best for you you guys are tapping into your akashic records so this is saying that these encounters were always written in the stars for you you're tapping into the akashic records of all that could be right the life that you want to live the dream job that you want to have the kind of ideal partnerships that you want to be able to step into even if this is the one that you have with yourself you know it's about navigating your way through life that's in alignment with your highest expression right for the highest good of all now you also have mission which is about parallel realities and knowing that you know you can begin to embody and merge with the next available version of self it's like a quantum jumping energy where you're kind of connecting to another version of virgo you know playing life out in other continuums other parallel realities um other dimensions that are completely in alignment with where it is you want to go you know um or what it is that you want to be aligned with and it's almost like you're bringing back that information and you're beginning to walk the path right it's like you're gaining access when it comes to knowing the path knowing what your innermost needs and desires are and then you have the opportunity to actually reinforce that through action right and actually begin to walk the path here this month with mission and you also have um it's time before uh, it's time to rest before you take flight in a new direction so again i feel like a lot of you are definitely going through some kind of like internal introspection before you begin to kind of like step out in this next phase of your journey okay and then you also have ghosted at the base so this could be you kind of ghosting people or going mia maybe there's ghosts from your past that are kind of like being dug up here this month too um let's go ahead and take a look at your vibration that you need to embody more of and we have courage okay so courage i find the inner strength to face my 
life there with confidence this is saying that you know making all these changes and these transformations are not necessarily going to be easy so you may be like scared you know a part of you may be um but the comfort that you have in your comfort zone um is is going to change this month a lot of you it's like you're now going to have discomfort in what was once your comfort zone in an old version of virgo in an old version of navigating the world with old connections and your discomfort will surpass the comfort that you once had which is almost like your feelings and intuition telling you that it's time to make some type of change and it doesn't mean that you won't be scared to make these changes but fearless is about you know doing it even if you're still scared speaking your truth even if your voice shakes taking action even if you feel like you know it may seem daunting uh because it's you fearing less because you're taking action and you're showing yourself that fear really is just false evidence appearing real there really is no threat in front of you most of the times as you're taking this it's just your anxiety right it's your mind kind of like overthinking something so this is um calling you to step with courage step forward with courage with that heart of courage now with your shaman's dream oracle message we have two so the first one is empty well time to replenish which is basically saying that a once fertile garden is now a barren dry desert and there's nothing for you left in a situation and this is a hole that you can no longer dig yourself out of and there's nothing left for you there right the well has run dry and this now has diminishing returns it's something that you know it's time to replenish empty well there's no more no more nourishment you can receive from some type of connection or to stay in a particular set of circumstances so there are new spring oases in the subterranean depths of your own heart but you have to be able to follow that calling and it's not going to be in the same place that you had settled for prior okay now with crown games right use of power this is giving you basically giving yourself permission to step into a role of leadership okay um this is um basically about you guys stepping into a role and becoming more conscious of it knowing that this is you weeding wielding wisely um and not basically intentionally trying to hurt others because i feel like again others are definitely going to have some kind of response or reaction from action that you're taking and this is focusing on um discovering your deep desires and helping basically yourself and knowing that the best way to help others is to be able to help yourself to be able to access your highest timelines gives the universe time and space for other people to be able to access their highest timelines too but which will it be for you can you forgive without condoning and keep your dignity when challenged will you be accountable amendable amendable to change or making amends can you let go of the need to rescue others lead with humility while letting others discover their own way home this is about knowing that you're powerful enough to remain humble and know that everyone is on their own personal journey to enlightenment and this is knowing that the only way to save another is to be able to basically be able to save yourself and you can forgive others and move on from you know certain connections of the past without harboring or holding on to resentment this is saying that forgiveness does not always require reconnection and giving yourself permission to reconnect with new timelines right reconnect with aspects of yourself that you had neglected and with mending coming up it basically is the same thing it's a b basically about healing after arguments um and learning how to love after loss you know and some of you it's learning how to love yourself and perform those acts of self-love for yourself by you know setting the appropriate boundaries here in september and making amends you know it's knowing that you don't have to hold on to this unwanted burden you don't have to hold on to any wounds it's time to basically extend compassion extend that forgiveness even to those who don't deserve it because it is those that need it the most okay and also extend that compassion to yourself because if your compassion does not include yourself it's also not complete so again it's really being gentle with yourself okay as you go through some kind of major transition in your life and realize that again forgiveness doesn't always require reconnection especially because we have time to go at the base right it's something that you have to do for yourself even if other people may not like it because again i feel like you guys are going to be ruffling some feathers as you make some type of move here this month now with your astrological theme we have readiness for change and then we have venus energy 
So this is basically about love, money. It's also about your values and going through a major transformation, okay, with readiness for change. Sun and Aquarius is about you guys going through um, some kind of opportunity to rebirth a version of Virgo that feels in alignment with the highest expression, okay, in alignment with your highest timelines, whether this is a job that you're stepping into, whether it's a new way of being. Uh, it could even be in like multiple areas of your life, but it's an opportunity to be able to love yourself again, okay? And with Mercury and t at the base, it's almost like you're figuring out what kind of energy exchanges you do want to be a part of moving forward and which energy exchanges leave you feeling more empowered, right? Because I feel like a lot of people have signed up to the old version of Virgo, but, you know, you're birthing Virgo 2.0 out here this month, right? And this is about no longer adapting who, who you are to kind of fit in, right? So let's move on to your tarot. Your centerpiece is the Ten of Swords and the Page of Wands, which is basically about um you know you going through basically a psychological ending here this month this could be betrayal it could be really painful you know for a lot of you with that ten of swords there's definitely a wounding of the mind something that is psychologically ending and with the page of wands it's saying that you're not naive to kind of be excited about where this ending could take you even though it hurts i feel like you're realizing that there's an opportunity to be able to cultivate a life for yourself or cultivate a version of yourself after a loss that allows you to completely transform the way that you navigate life on a day-to-day -day basis and a lot of you it's like you're being a lot more intentional here this month in regards to the life that you want to live the life that you want to create for yourself and you're very excited here this month and that doesn't make you naive around well this thing just happened and it's you know really painful it's more of a strategy that you'll be kind of looking at life in around being in a place of never been there never done that and it allows you to be more excited okay around the direction that you're going and um knowing that even though you cannot see the full extent of your journey there's just something that you're excited to ground into reality and maybe some of you it's like discovering yourself again for the first time or neglected aspects of the self it's like you're finally going through an an opportunity to go through a mental reset okay in the way that you kind of perceive life and perceive yourself and your own potential so your obstacle and challenge is the ten of cups and the chariot your obstacle and challenge is that i feel like your head again your, your head and mind and intellect understands that an old path or continuum is no longer a viable option okay with parallel realities but your heart was like really set on a particular person or particular path and your obstacle and challenge is having to accept that, you know, at a soul level, I feel like for a lot of you that, you know, a story has played out and it's no longer serving a purpose in your life. So you shouldn't drag something out past its due date. And I feel like a lot of you, again, there's an obstacle and challenge in regards to your head and heart really having to come into alignment around a path that you thought would make you happy. Maybe it was better in your head than it was in reality okay and maybe that's something that you're gonna have to accept here because it's kind of like a hopeless romantic energy or like you having a lot of hope for a situation or person to kind of change around but the reality of it is that it wasn't able to so your obstacle and challenge is not looking back at that old continuum accepting that it's no longer a viable option and knowing that you're never really going to be able to control the way that other people show up for you anything external um, but you can control the way you, you want to respond to this okay so your mind and emotions is the hermit and the four of coins i do feel like you guys do want to get out there again because this kind of came up reversed um so i feel like after some kind of introspection you are focused on kind of like reconnecting with a new way of being these could be new connections new just a new life okay a new way of navigating life but being a lot more intentional with where your energy goes and you have your past to thank for that you know a lot of you it's like your past has allowed you to better understand yourself and you're understanding yourself now and your innermost needs better than ever before and you have the opportunity to honor that here this month figure out what is in alignment with your belief systems your core fundamental values and begin to connect with people that feel that, like they're in alignment with that or a job that feels like it's in alignment with that you know whatever it is it's like four of coins is you kind of getting back to basics in regards to 
really beginning to open up your sacral chakra instead of having it like contracted to the point where you feel like you know you can't you're almost like on edge you know for like a lot of you have felt like you, you were on edge around oh I'm really closing yourself off to the world basically and I feel like there's an opportunity to step out into the spotlight but knowing who you kind of want to see you you know and kind of understanding that not everyone is going to see you right or everyone's going to have a different perception of you but real will recognize real that's why i get here so your most likely outcome is the hanged man and the eight of cups um again this is really you guys having to walk away from something that you can no longer look at with rose colored tinted glasses and you're seeing it clearly for the first time you know it's almost like you're taking these rose colored tinted glasses off and you can finally see something for the first time and it's allowing you to have a deeper sense of understanding which i feel like is bringing you guys a sense of closure i feel like you're now understanding at least by the end of september why you have to walk away from something and why you know you can no longer you know settle in a situation or give hope you know into a situation which is just a glimmer of optimism um around something that will continue to disappoint you okay and i feel like you're understanding why this month and i feel like it's gonna again help you begin to mend the relationship that you have with, your, with yourself um and it's really gonna help you walk away with your dignity i feel like a lot of you like there's something about walking away with dignity and it's again really a sur like a surrendering and letting go and releasing so your opportunity is the tower and the eight of um, swords so your opportunity this month is to be able to again embrace any kind of chaos as a catalyst for transformation in your life it is your honest energy so it's almost like something is going to be destabilizing this month and a lot of you it's something that you haven't wanted to let go of or something that's still be lingering in the hoys of your heart or haunting the hoys of your mind and your opportunity is to be able to release yourself from that realize that you're not obligated to stay in a situation you don't have to stay there out of social courtesy um there's a new direction that the universe is pointing you towards and they've said that you have to halt in this continuum you have to halt in this direction this is about them creating an ending if you're not having to embody one yourself and um where a path ends is an opportunity to be able to pave a new one okay and your opportunity is to realize that okay your mind is the only thing that's preventing you from paving a new one some of you are like replaying these past events or again a continuum that you've been having a lot of hope that, that would change around in your head and it doesn't even exist anymore it's just replaying in your own mind and there's something about like psychologically putting that to an end so that you can begin to move forward towards a life that feels like it's more in alignment with you or where it is that you want to go right and this is also knowing that you know you've gone through a portal of discovery around a situation that has left you feeling unfulfilled and it's allowed you to better understand what would fulfill you it's like well, well, well how can we begin to try something at the other end of the spectrum now your advice is the knight of swords and the eight of swords so your advice is basically to be able to move forward okay getting out of your own head realizing that the universe is abundant there are so many new higher timelines that do await you and this is about you guys taking action towards this so that you can see that progression within your career or the, your other life goals that you've set for yourself even though people places or things from your past may be watching or observing you in some way with a page of swords this is about you not allowing knowing that people are kind of like watching you step into this new version of self kind of go after the things that you want to prevent you from taking action right and actually see it as a responsibility especially a spiritual responsibility you know some of you it's like i'm hearing it's like your due diligence so it's like something that you owe for yourself it's like this next chapter is personal and it's got nothing to do with them and it's got everything to do with yourself you know there's something about that like whatever it is it just feels personal here this month like this next chapter is personal all right let's take a look at your spirit guide message we have intuition so connect with your higher self listen to your gut feeling follow your inner voice okay i feel like again your intuition is going to be speaking to you we have joy time to celebrate don't worry be happy okay it's your intuition is leading you towards a more joyful state of being right a more joyful life but you have to honor your 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 calling that you have again a lot of you tapping tapping into your wisdom this month 
um so virgos i'm gonna go ahead and love you and leave you right there i hope that you guys enjoyed this reading hopefully it gave you everything that you need to be able to navigate your way smoothly throughout the month of september if you're not already subscribed to this channel and want to stick on for future reads do consider subscribing personal reading details are also down below take a look at my second channel that will also be down below but until next time bye